Get him. <laughs> Where's he at? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He's got Oh, he's a big one. He's pulling you. Get your rider. Oh, don't let him get off. Don't let him get off. Don't let him get off. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Okay, hold on. I'll get him. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got a video today. Really awesome video. I see this question. I've seen it hundreds of times when I'm on the water lessons. I've seen it thousands of times and posted questions and things like that throughout all the Facebook pages. One of the things, does clicking your transducer up help see your jig higher in the water column or see the surface splash? Yes and no, but let's take a look at it right now and you be the judge of whether or not the click up could help you. Now this is not has anything to do with ghost tree or anything like that. This simply has to do with visibility of your jig higher in the water column and seeing the splash closer into the boat. Let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start with this. This is what I would call your standard, you know, just your normal default view where you can see behind the boat. Um, I've, I've separated the 135 degree beam into the five separate beams, which are 27 degrees, 27 degrees times five, 135. Um, and what I wanted to show you was, let's just say this is down about two foot. Um, so hypothetically, if this is down about two foot, it angles upwards. Um, it, it does angle slightly upwards and slightly backwards. There is a little bit right in here, uh, just slightly, doesn't, it's not, a, I don't know the exact measurements of it, but there is a little bit of slight area right in here where you do not see the surface of the water. Uh, it ain't but a couple feet. And, and this one here, we're gonna call this white, this dark black line here, we're gonna call that the surface. So as you can see, the top beam is essentially angled out of the water. All of this area right here is beam that is actually shooting out of the water. Now, when you angle the beam upwards, um, and most people fish in this area right out here, which is you know that anywhere from six to 15, 20 foot of water, 20 foot out, uh, they most people fish in that area right there. Um, I have a video where I talk about you know setting your install depth at two and a half foot and that helps slide the picture down, which will help you see more of the surface out, out here, and that will help you see the splash better. But that's a whole separate issue. I hear people say by angling it up, you can see more, you can see the surface and see the splash more, and that's just not true. Because just by angling it up, if you look at it here, you have this area right here. This is a small area. It's just a probably a couple feet in front of the boat. Nobody fishes directly in front of the boat, hardly. You got 12, 13, 15 foot poles. You're getting out seven, eight, 10 foot in front of the boat uh, on most cases, and if you're casting even further. But if you do hypothetically click it up one spot, the only area you will gain uh, visibility of the surface more is this little area right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this back line out and we're gonna call it, we're gonna angle it up. One click. So now, that's it. Now we've taken and just literally rolled the transducer uppers. We clicked it up one. Now, once again, you still got a little area right here where there's just no beam present. And by clicking it up, you've only added this little small portion, which is just a couple feet out. You've only added that little small portion of visibility to the screen. So does it help? I guess hypothetically it could help because you've added that little bit. But what you've done by angling it up is that you've taken one whole beam and essentially rendered 90% of that beam useless because it is literally from here to here is completely out of the water. You've only added this small little section. So hypothetically, yes, it can help you see the splash better here, but it's not, in my opinion, enough to angle it up that one click. I don't see where it adds that much visibility right there of seeing your splash because the moment your bait essentially hits the water, within six inches, it's in the beam. It would be in the beam. So 
Yes, you may see a little bit of a splash, but you're not going to gain so much uh, surface visibility that clicking up is going to help that much. So essentially, you're wasting a whole beam because it will literally be shooting out of the water. You'll notice it. Now, this second beam is this beam right here. So you've got this section of the second beam out of the water. This whole section of the first beam out of the water, you're losing a lot of your beams. But hypothetically, it could, it could uh, help you just see that little bit. So does it help? Yes, it could. But is it enough to angle it up? I believe that's a choice that you're going to have to make. So if you didn't know where I was going with that, does angling it up possibly add a little bit of surface visibility? Yes, uh, maybe a foot and a half or so, two feet. Uh, not much, but it does add a little bit. So if you're fishing very close to the transducer or very close to the boat, it could possibly add a little bit of visibility where you can see your splash. If you're out 10, 12, 14 foot away from the water, the boat, it's not gonna do anything for you. But up close, it could. So you didn't know when I started the video whether or not it was or wasn't. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, getting very close to 20,000. And when we do it, we're going live. But guys, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, had to take the video down for the live foot stuff. A little bit of complications with DD26 and uh, live foot right there. Gonna refilm that video and redo that giveaway. Uh, very sorry for that, but we will re re redo that giveaway. Uh, in a few days, I'll refilm that video without the DD26 information. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.